Today we're going to be talking about angle relationships. When given four figures, we can find a pattern that will help us determine the relationships between the shapes. Before we get into those patterns, let's brush up on a few facts about angles. So the first thing we want to look at are triangles and the angles inside the triangles. So the interior angles, which means the angles that are inside a triangle, all those interior angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So if I add all these up inside my triangle, I would get 180 degrees. So 54 plus 36 plus 90 equals 180. Same thing in this triangle. If I add up all the interior angles, which is the inside angles, I also get 180. So 50 plus 59 plus 71 equals 180. Also, a straight angle is 180 degrees. A straight angle means it makes a straight line. So from one side of the line to the other side of the line, it's 180 degrees. And interior, which is the inside, and an exterior, which is the outside, angles of a triangle create a straight angle. So this right here, C, angle C and angle D, when I add those together, they equal a straight line. So it creates a straight angle. Same thing right here, angle B and angle E, whenever those two angles are combined, then it creates a straight line, a straight angle which means that whenever these two angles are added together, they have to equal 180 degrees. When given parallel lines and a transversal, it creates a lot of different angles and we can find patterns to help us identify congruent angles. Now remember, Congruent means um, equal or the same. So what they mean by parallel lines and transversals. So right here, line A and line B, these two lines right here, those are parallel lines. I know they are parallel. They are running straight from each other. They never cross. So those two are parallel. Then it is cut, those parallel lines are cut by this line right here. This line that cuts through them, this is called a transversal. Transversal line. So this line is cutting through those parallel lines. Since these lines are parallel, I know that whenever it cuts through, it creates some congruent angles. So for example, this angle right here, that is 48 degrees, is congruent to this angle right here, that is also 48 degrees. Now these angles are in the same spot on this parallel line, so I also have 48 degrees and 48 degrees. Now I know that I have to create a straight angle because there's a line here, so it creates a straight line. So I know that this angle has to be 180 minus 48, so this angle, right here is 132 and then same thing here so it creates a pattern where we have congruent angles we have straight angles and that is how a transversal and parallel line works now on the back we have some examples and patterns so on this first example it says Using some of the angle facts above on the other side, and these given examples, what is the measure of angle X? So this is what I'm looking for right here, this measure right there. So let's look at what I noticed about these angles. So I have interior angles here. Now I'm missing an angle measure here, but that's okay. But I noticed that these two angle measures I have now, there's multiple ways I can do this. I know that all the angles inside my triangle have to add up to 180. 
So if I do 180 minus 70 plus 50, I will get my answer for that missing angle. So I have 180 minus 70 plus 50 is 120. So my missing angle measure is 60. Now I can check my work because I noticed this interior angle and this exterior angle, when added together, they create a straight line. So it have to be a straight angle, which is equal to 180 degrees. Well, let's check. 60 plus 120 does equal 180 degrees. So I know that this is the measure of that angle right there. I can do the same thing for all of them. So looking at this example, I have, I know that this is 120, I know that this is 80, and this is 40. Multiple ways you can look at it. On this one, I found the missing angle inside, and then I did it. On this one, let's look at here, this right here. So this is a straight angle going across, right? So that means so the angle measure all the way across has to be 180 degrees. Well, if this exterior angle is 120, I know that I can do 180 minus 120, and I get 60. So this is equal to 60 degrees. And I can double check my work by doing 60 plus 80 plus 40, and it should equal 180 degrees. 60 plus 80 is 140 plus 40 is 180. So 180 equals 180. That works out. That is my missing angle. Let's do the same thing over here. So I have two interior angles and I have one exterior angle. I also notice that these two angles added together equal this exterior angle right here. 60 plus 70 equals 130. So that is the, that measure right there, 130. If I want to find this missing angle, I know that these two angles together equal 180, 130 plus that missing angle. So I can do 180 minus 130 to get 50 for my missing angle measure. So I just gave you three different ways that we can see if this makes sense, or so that we can find a missing angle. We can do the same thing here for X. Two, there's multiple ways that we can do this. So let's do it where we're looking for this angle first, okay? Let's look for this angle first. So I am going to um, use my knowledge that the interior angles of this triangle all add up to 180. So to find this missing angle, I'm going to do 180 minus 64 plus 45 to figure out what that missing angle is. So I have 180 minus, uh, 4 plus 5 is 9, 6 plus 4 is 10, so I get 100. 9. So now I'm going to do 180 minus 109, and we get 71. So this measure right here is 71 degrees. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to use my knowledge of straight angles because this interior angle and this exterior angle added together equal 180 degrees. I'm going to take 180 degrees and I'm going to subtract 71, my interior angle, to find the missing angle x. So 180 minus 71 equals 109 degrees. So x equals 109 degrees. I also notice that when I add these two together here, 64 plus 45, I get 109 degrees. Example two is talking about parallel lines and transversals. 
So using these pictures and angle facts given, what is the measure of angle B? So I'm going to find angle B. It's in this image down here. That is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to find a pattern. I notice that 130 is in the same spot on the other parallel line. Same thing here. 110 and 110, they're on the same spot on both parallel lines. Same thing here and here. So I know that if this is 150, or I'm sorry, if this one is 50 degrees, then B also has to equal 50 degrees. 